So one of the great things, uh, and also simultaneously one of the great risks of data in society, is that it is about data and society. That means that it is simultaneously about everything and potentially something simultaneously about nothing. I'm coming at this um, as a practitioner primarily, um, but we all, you know, we all showed up with prior experiences in our life. I started out with a background in physics and philosophy actually, but then joined The Economist. My background is in libraries. Uh, my background is in art. I was more interested in kind of social issues around the law than in practicing law. I was interested in the ideas that were kind of floating around in medicine, but I, w I wasn't sure that I was interested in actually practicing medicine myself. I immediately began to see a lot of connections between what was happening in cities and what was happening on screens. There are so many people here that are thinking from lots of different perspectives about the same kind of family of issues, but bringing to the table lots of different perspectives, um, both substantively in terms of kind of the way they think about the things, but also like what types of questions they want to ask, the ways they want to answer those questions, um, the ways they want to be kind of part of the discussion. My interests in terms of like who I want to be talking to are often um, maybe a much broader audience than a traditional think tank or academic institution or corporation might want to talk to. I've been using the fellows group as a kind of test bed for workshopping story ideas. I've thrown ideas at them and, and then had them try to raise up questions, objections, ideas, this is the way it could go, these are the issues that it raises. Well, if we just had enough data, we could solve every social problem known to humanity. Although I feel like anytime you have to describe something as being for good, you are implicitly acknowledging uh, that it's, its typical use is maybe not. The capacity for asking like what could go wrong is something that, particularly around data, like the, the, this organization is, is, I think, really the first of its kind. It's definitely changed um, the way I think about kind of what types of things we can put into the world to sort of be part of the conversation and inform the public about the issues we think are important. And uh, I, I think data and society is really important because I think it is taking that bigger view about the technology, not to get caught up in the hype cycle, but instead to take a step back and think critically about what exactly we're going through uh, and, and to see whether or not we can be more proactive around these technologies uh, before they cause the harm that they might.